Hi, my name is Audrey Williams of Audrey Williams Flowers to Interiors and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to episode three of my country living series. But this is part one of how we heat our home in the countryside. So I'm in the log store because I'm going to talk to you about how we heat our home because we have a log burner which is one of the ways we heat our home and currently we have all this seasonal wood that's been in here for over a year and some pieces have been in here maybe six to nine months and this is the wood we use in our log burner so it's cold out here so let's go inside and i'll show you our wood burner hi michael hi yeah hi. so um michael's just about to load the fireplace and he will show you the best way of how to basically load it for us to get a good roaring fire so take it away michael all right as you can see it's um, empty at the moment and we're going to about to load the fire so what we need is wood sauce and some kindling which is basically chopped up bits of dried and seasoned wood our logs um, but we also need some paper and arrange kindling a bit of a teepee type motion. Oh, like the tent, you mean? Yes, yeah. just like the tent. Okay. So, what's those holes down there? That's allowing the air that come from underneath the house okay. to allow for air come up so you need your air, the source of uh, wood burning so you need the oxygen coming up from outside and wood and of course you need the heat which will get by those matches. Okay. This actually regulates the amount of airflow that's coming up up through the grill into um, open chamber here. Oh. So we're just going to close it. Get rid of the heart, so close it. We only just allow a little bit of air to come through. At Does the that drawer pull out? Yes, this drawer pulls out. Oh. We to clean the ash out of as well, isn't it? Yes, the ash goes into there. Right, so you're going to light it now? Yes. Long matches. Do you ever just use like a normal fire lighter? Fire lighter. Which is it you tend to use more? Okay. Okay, so it's off and running. Okay. So that kind of controls it. Yeah. Down there. Okay. That we've had. And if you look back in, it's now catching a bit more. And because it's a bit more established, I'll just increase the airflow just a little bit, just to get the heat coming up a little bit more. So the increased air will make the actual flame burn a little bit hotter. Okay. So Michael's managed to get the fire roaring really, really nicely. And I just want to show you that this is a built-in um, wood burner. It's not the freestanding one. So we've got space under here where we log, we store the logs. So how the wood burner works is obviously I'm getting heat from here and that's lovely and toasty, but it's also in a fireplace. So if I can show you, um, it's a brick built fireplace. And this also acts as a passive heat source because the bricks get warm and even when the fire is gone off, they're warm and it radiates heat out into the room. We've also got grills on the side and these grills, the pipe that goes up that the smoke goes through, it gets warm and then the heat comes out, that's, comes, that's around from the pipe comes out into the room and I can feel it here, warm air coming out. So it's not only the bricks, not only the grill, but it's also the fireplace. And it makes our home really, really toasty and warm. And this is the carbon monoxide alarm, which sits right next to the fireplace. And that's an essential part of having a wood burner. 
one thing you have to be mindful of is um, it's this particular one doesn't have a fire guard. So if you have any young children living in the home or you've got any pets in the home, you do need to put a guard. But we don't have any pets in the home and we don't have any young children living in the home. So we can have it so it doesn't need to have the guard. But if we was to have anyone round, we don't really put the fireplace on. We'll use our other source of heating if they've got young children. Um, but yes, it's lovely to have. Nice piece of um, equipment to have in the home to heat your home. Um, but the other thing is it's an awful lot of cleaning so once you've finished it's finished burning and you're finished and you get it let it cool down you have to clean it all out we use the ash once it's cooled down and I put it in the beds in the kitchen garden or in the um, flower garden and then you need to clean the glass and really clean it so you have to be mindful as lovely as it is there's an awful lot of cleaning so thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got lots more content about different things and aspects in the countryside that I'll be covering. This is part one, but part two will show you the other way that we heat our home and that will be next week. So subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so it will let you know once I upload the video and I'll see you in the next video.